so hello everyone welcome back now let us start problem number 3.33 which is on page number 160 of griffith's electrodynamics he says we have a pure dipole p situated at origin and pointing in z direction so i'll be making a three axis x y z and we have a dipole which is pointing in z direction so p here so we need to find force at charge a q which is a distance a from uh, a on this uh, x axis so we very well know that for force we need electric field and electric field in case of dipole is p upon 4 pi epsilon not r cube 2 r 2 cos theta r cap plus sin theta theta cap this formula is given in griffith's on page number 158 equation number 103 it can be seen so this is the electric field for dipole which is at uh, some distance r and angle theta all right so uh, suppose we have a uh, we don't have a dipole here suppose we, have, we do not have a dipole at origin we have a dipole at distance some r and it is making some angle phi with z axis and will be taking a perpendicular or over xy plane this is xy plane you very well know that so this is this is the perpendicular actually look the figure carefully so if we draw a a, a a position vector here and join this then this angle this angle this angle is in the xy plane actually and this phi oh sorry theta so this angle is in the xy plane and, and this uh, phi angle is in the xy plane and it is perpendicular to the z axis and this this angle is theta here I'm sorry so this angle is theta let me write it again more clearly this is phi phi is the angle in the xy plane and theta is the angle in uh, in the uh, y, uh, yz plane actually the per plane perpendicular to x axis so if the plane is perpendicular to x axis and we have a point over x axis then what is theta here theta should be pi by 2 why because the plane is perpendicular to x axis that's why uh, theta is uh, pi by 2 because it, it makes angle 90 degree with uh, z axis and what is r here r is a it is given in the question so what we get the electric field as p uh, 4 by 4 pi epsilon not a cube and pi by 2 cos become 0 only sign left and it becomes one so this is the electric field and the main thing is the dipole is pointing in x in some direction then the the direction in which it is pointing is the plus direction uh, plus a positive uh, thing and this is negative so it means that it has polarity opposite to electric field means electric field uh, goes from positive to negative it originates from positive charge and uh, uh, terminates to negative charge so the direction of electric field will be opposite to that of dipole so it will be minus z cap all right so the direction is important here suppose we have a dipole uh, pointing towards minus uh, uh, j cap so what will be the direction of electric field it would be j plus j cap all right so this thing is need to be cleared in uh, further problems that we need to solve now coming to problem number b or uh, part number b he saying force on charge which is placed at uh, some somewhere here in the direction same as dipole moment so if the direction is same what is theta this theta this is 0 degree obviously because it does not uh, if we resolve the uh, theta x here in the z axis then theta will be 0 and what what will be r r is given in the question it is a so we will be direct sorry we need to apply we need to find force here so uh, just a second i didn't find force here i just find out electric field so force here will be q p upon 4 pi epsilon not a cube in minus z cap direction and the direction of force is same as the direction of electric field you very well know that so here electric field uh it will be uh theta is zero, theta is 0 so sin becomes this becomes 0 so we get electric field as p upon 4 pi epsilon not a cube and with a 2 here uh, so cos 0 becomes 0 and this is that electric field now 
the thing is in, in which direction electric field is pointing so the uh, charge the charge is located here so it will go towards charge only to uh, the uh, if the um, dipole moment is at origin so the electric field will will originate from the charge now it will uh, go all over the uh, z axis so here we'll we'll write z cap and what will be force it will be 2 qp upon 4 pi epsilon naught a cube z cap so the direction of electric field is opposite here because the charge is uh, somewhere here all right so we will be taking direction of electric field here now coming to part number c is saying how much work done so work done is we were in know that q into e and we can write because we have uh, we, uh, we need to take charge from a to this a so from some angle 0 to or uh, from angle pi by 2 to 0 so we'll write in potential final minus potential initial so q into uh, we very well know that potential is p cos theta and first of all uh, what is cos theta upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square so what for uh, for a point which is at a we, we get for a point which is at a we get uh, we, we need to replace r by a square so final final position is a uh, zero degree final position is zero degree and initial position is pi by two so final minus initial so it becomes directly zero so we get q p upon four pi epsilon naught a square so this is the net work done jules you can write it so this is the work done this is the force the this in this case and this is the force in this case so that's all for this video uh, the main concept is just um, placing this diagram here and understanding things according to the diagram uh, nothing more than that so that's all for this video see you in next video bye bye thank you